Hello you beautiful Aquarians that are born on January 28th. This is your birthday reading. But before I get into all that, I want to be the first to tell you that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. Thank you for being here and thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you. The divine values you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. So I would like to say a prayer before we start the reading just to ask for, you know, give thanks and ask for uh, guidance and clarity and protection, okay? Our Father in Heaven, I want to thank you for the many blessings that you've given to me, sending me these beautiful Aquarians, and I'd like to also give gratitude on their behalf as well. I would like to ask for protection for us uh, during this reading, protection from evil eye, from harm. Um, I'd like to ask for protection from illness um, for ourselves and our loved ones to keep us safe. And I'd like to ask for permission to be able to peek into the January 28th uh, born Aquarians for the year of 2024. Please allow me to take a quick, a quick peek into their life for 2024, the positive things, the significant things that they are going to um you know, be overcoming or going through this year that are positive, positive tra changes for the Aquarians born on January 28th. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And the reason I say significant, because even though I've been asking for positive, uh, things that are positive for the Aquarians for 2024, their overall positive, the overall message um, and general theme for the Aquarians really have been moving beyond illusions moving beyond people wearing masks and so there are some changes coming in in many genres of your life okay relationship work love you know not just relationships and love but you know friends and family there's a lot there's a lot that is being overcome this year and it's for positive it's a positive movement it's a positive thing so it's like i feel like rifts are being healed between families and i feel that you know, uh, people who have slowed you down are just sort of being removed. I just feel like it's that kind of transition. It's been an overall theme for the birthday readings, okay? So I'm going to start off with the message from the Divine Beloved, okay? So what messages do the Divine want to give to the January, born, the January 28th Aquarians? The January 28th Aquarians. 2024 overall message here, please. January 28th Aquarians. Nurturing. Beautiful. There's some nudity on here, so I can't show it. It's just because of the way YouTube is. It's not distasteful or anything. It's just the way YouTube is. But I'll put my finger over the bosom here. Okay, basically it says, um, Change me, Divine Beloved, into one who accepts my body exactly as it is, seeing it as a vessel for your love. Fill me with gratitude for this physical form. Let me nurture and care for myself in every way. So this might, and I've even got that for some Aquarians, some, something like um, transformations, um, health transformations, body transformations, you know. I've gotten a lot of messages like that, and overall, you know, uh, nutrition, um, exercise, and stuff like that. So that might be something that... Um, you're doing you might be making changes literally physical changes okay to yourself through health or whatever okay just nurturing yourself taking care of yourself show me the chakra space for those born on january 28th overall um energy for 2024 chakra space please january 28th aquarians overall let me turn it this way there we go. I knew something wanted to come out here. I felt like this one wanted to as well. So I'm just going to pull it because it kind of went crazy in my finger there. Now, the first one that came out was Sacred Groove. Okay, Grove. Excuse me. Sacred Grove. Um, guidance. Travel into the power places to receive guidance that you are seeking. So this is a lot about meditation okay prayer whatever works for you um and we have the warrior it's like the the warrior pose empowerment call your inner strength and stamina as you establish a, your place in the world 
So I do feel like you're going to nurture yourself, okay, take care of yourself, and I think that you're going to do things that help your body to uh, get stamina, all right, because I think whatever it is you're doing, you're going to need some stamina for it, um, whatever it is that's coming in, you're just going to be needing to have some energy to do it, and um, we have the throat chakra, and we have the solar plexus chakra, so there is something I feel that you're you're working on, transforming in your life. That's gonna you're gonna actually have a lot of um, drive and ambition because for me that sa that uh, not sacral chakra that solar plexus chakra is a lot about that for me. Okay, some that drive that ambition, um, even that creativity. Okay, and then voicing it out here and even voicing it out into the world okay what you want for yourself this year you know don't just keep it in your mind but literally out loud say it so your spirit team can hear it because your spirit team is not inside of your mind okay so show me what i need to see for the aquarians born january 28th overall energy for 2024 what do they need to know or see this is health and wellness here these next two decks so I'm using four angel decks that are created by Doreen Virtue when she was, I guess, creating tarot, uh, oracle cards. Caffeine free. And it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, I ask that you cut the cords of attachment to caffeine so that I may honor my body's natural energy rhythms without chemicals. So this is a lot is coming out about your energy. Um... You're going to need energy for something that is going to happen or take place in your life or something that you're trying to create or more move toward, all right? Alternative medicine. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for guiding me to the ideal healing treatment modality and for giving me clear signs and messages to validate the best path for my well-being. So there's a lot here about working on your physical self. I mean, it literally came out in the first card to nurture your physical self. And then there's here this creativity, this movement. Maybe even some of you will help people to do that, okay? If some of you are already doing something like that, um, you might even help others or, or get a team or work out, you know, so that you have someone that helps you to be accountable for nurturing yourself. Sometimes it's hard to do something alone. You find other people who are trying to do the same goal, create the same things for themselves, and before you know it, you know you're successful at whatever you're trying to achieve. But it starts with nurturing yourself, and then it just goes outwards from there. Show me what I need to see for the Aquarians born on January 28th. Overall messages for 2024. Look at that. What is that? What do I need to see? Anything else? Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Anything else? Okay, so several messages. Can't wait to see what they are. I do see light worker, so just landed on the tarot. There might be a lot that comes out in the tarot about um, your spiritual path, okay? You are a powerful light worker. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings in love, excuse me, in loving service to the divine. So, Whatever it is you're going to be doing, transforming to this year, whatever it is you're going to need stamina for, even if it's Reiki healing, there's a lot about nurturing the body, healing the body, alternative medicine. So, and I see, and I'm drawn to like this person, like it reminds me when a person plays with their chi, okay? So, you know, whatever you're doing to heal others, if you're born on this day, um, definitely you're going to be rewarded, Okay, you're going to be rewarded. You're going to receive blessings for giving your love and your light and your healing power to the world. And then we also have Archangel Raphael. The healing angel is with you, supporting your healing work. So a lot of you are going to be helping others heal on some level. There's, the, there's all kinds of ways to help healing. And you can physically work in the healthcare industry, like I said, Reiki, energy healing, uh, tarot readers, people who have messages to give out to the world, grid keepers. I mean, there are so many ways that a person can heal, even animals. 
Um, so there's just keep that in mind. Even comedy. There's so many ways, musicians, that we can heal people, okay, with our vibration. It says, have you asked your angels for help with this? So your angels want to help you with this situation. However, they require your permission before they can intervene on your free will choices. And that's right. That's why I said verbally express it. Verbally express out loud what you're trying to do. And if you need help, let's say you know what you want to be. You're saying, okay, I want to be a Reiki uh, master. I want to do this or that or whatever. And you're struggling or you don't know where to even start or begin. Ask your angels out loud. Just say, can you please help me with this, angels? I am struggling. Um, you know, help me to see the signs or synchronicities or give me vision in my dreams. Show me some kind of way that helps me to complete my goal or if I'm lost and I don't even know what I'm supposed to do send me some kind of signs show me guide me to the right to the right area I need to be and they will come instantly you might feel something instantly and they are scanning your frequency you can feel like a little brush just like something simple like something just touched you but not very much um, like a feather you might see feathers even but it is a way that your angels are scanning your frequency and you may feel them tethering around you um but you wouldn't see them you would just feel something it would be very light very minute all right archangel michael which is here on my table here and it says archangel michael you are working very closely with this powerful archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation and it's absolutely true and archangel michael will actually come to you in dreams if you um, ask for guidance from him, I've, I've found when I uh, have meditated or talked to Archangel Michael, he will come instantly. But be prepared because you will get what you wish for. So, like, uh, you know, I'd ask to know what people were feeling in the world at that time. And I wept for four hours because I felt this ex intense loneliness for hours until someone had to come and get me out of it. So be careful what you ask Archangel Michael for. But there is another time when I was trying to um, move on from a job. I, Divine was trying to get me out of the job. I liked the job, but it wasn't my path, okay? Throughout the years, Divine has been trying to get me on my path. So when I actually got out of this job, my spirit, my soul was just going to the job in the astral. I kept showing up to the job, and Archangel Michael would be right there at the door every time I would enter the door to my office, Archangel Michael was blocking me, reminding me, you don't work here anymore. So things have to cut out in the astral to cut out in the physical as well. But um, Archangel Michael will definitely help you for sure. So workshops and seminars. Attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path and purpose. Be open to teaching and learning. And you know, you might go to a workshop or seminar and, and you know, like those Tony Robbins things and become a... a a coach, a life coach, a counselor of some sort, who knows, um, addictions, um, whatever it is. And then you may start doing your own, getting together your own groups, or you may already be doing this. So you're definitely spreading your love and light this year to help heal or better mankind in some way or the inhabitants on this planet in some way. That's a very strong theme for this year, but it starts with taking care and nurturing yourself because you're going to need the stamina to do this. Those of you um, who want to know about abundance, abundance can mean many things, but a lot of times people associate abundance with money, but we'll see what wants to come out here. I have the Angels of Abundance cards, and let's just see what wants to come out. Show me what I need to see for my January 28th Born Aquarians. Overall energy for 2024 for abundance. What would help them? What would help them for overall 2024? A theme here. What would help them for their abundance? Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I can see right off the bat. Eat clean. Eat clean. <laughs> Um, this is going to definitely help with your stamina. Eat clean, clean energy food. When you fuel your body with a healthful organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads you to uh, more efficiency. 
better ideals and higher vibration which attract golden opportunities and beneficial relationships so you're going to be aligning okay with people probably to do this with and it's going to attract golden opportunities being there's a lot here about your body there's a lot here about nurturing your body not just it's not about an aesthetic it's through and through to raise your vibration to the highest frequency here and we have dreams of abundance as you sleep god your angels and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas answers and solutions be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality so that's definitely true try to keep a little something next to your pillow um so you don't forget it i do this often sometimes i wake up with a song that i i channel a song for the reading and sometimes i'm just tired and i'm groggy and i sort of fall back to sleep and then i forget the song and i have to try to rechannel it sometimes it comes and sometimes it doesn't so it's very important i've started um just sort of logging when I wake up and there's a song playing in my head I write it down right away because I can literally forget it and so that's the same thing your spirit guides angels God is himself is going to come to you in your dreams and and show you something show you what you need to do give you an ideal something like that so those of you who are looking for love here or some love messages let's see what wants to come out Show me what I need to see for the January 28th born Aquarians. Show me what I need to see for the January 28th born Aquarians. Thank you. And one more love oracle. Please show me what I need to see for the January 28th born Aquarians. January 28th born Aquarians. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Anything else? You got a lot. So, this is several messages. Not not necessarily every message may apply because this is love. So maybe these several messages for different people, or maybe all will apply. But they are so far very positive. <laughs> okay. We have embraced through each other. You find the missing pieces. So this is like finding the yen to your yang, the yang to your yen. Okay. And we have a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Okay. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So somebody um, definitely wants to tell you that they love you and they're thinking about you now. The most negative card here is let go of control issues. So somebody may need to let go of a controlling situation, environment, or person. Or someone may literally need to just let go of um, expecting an outcome, right? We manifest something. We know what we want in our life. And we just have to know that um, God's going to give it to us. And we just have to vibrate on that frequency like we already have it. And be happy in the now like we already have this. And then it appears. So we would let go of control of the outcome. But this could be someone in your environment who is controlling. And it could be anywhere. It could be in any genre of your life. And it's saying whatever is controlling, whether from yourself or toward yourself, it's time to release that. And then we have... <laughs> We have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. We have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Remember, these messages are those for, for those who need it. Maybe not every message goes to every single person. We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And then we have children. Your life is being affected by children, and that can mean any kind of way, okay? children that are meant to come in and be born children that are already here in any fashion okay the true children working with children grandchildren any kind of way children okay all right let's get into the tarot this is a big deck right here so i'm going to lay out the cards uh 10 cards and then i'm going to clarify with another deck which is called the after tarot it's literally meant to be the moment right after I like it. There's some nudity, so the ones that, that if any come out with that, I won't be um, I won't be showing that. 
All right, show me what I need to see for the Aquarians born on January 28th. Overall energy for 2024. Overall energy for the Aquarians born on January 28th. Overall energy, please. Overall energy, two more shuffles. of shimmy here well i guess if that wants to come out i'll pull the rest from the top all right first card out is the chariot reverse we have the ace of coins we have nine of cups so i'll see what else if anybody here is manifesting some sort of car or house um it's coming okay it's coming don't worry about that. Eight of coins. Something that you've been focusing on here in the past is uh, paying off here. Literally paying off the moon. Something here. Um, past life or something you're unaware of or something you're not telling others. Four of wands in the reverse here. This is the near future. Like I said, I really don't want to expand on too much until I get the clarifying cards. Three of blades reverse. So this is healing something as well. It's in the reverse in the self position. So you might be healing something here this year. King of Cups, the environment is love. This love for those looking for love here, or literal Scorpio, but this is the children okay there's literally two children and two children and a dog and oh my god there's a dog here two children and a dog so that's what's in the environment might even be saying for those who do um, want to increase their fertility uh, male or female here okay because it takes good quality sperm to also have a child Anyone who wants to increase the fertility is definitely talking here about diet. We have the devil. This is a fear of something here. And literally we see like these bad habits. Okay. So something with that. Um, let me see where my phone is at. You guys know my brother calls just about every reading. and my, my brother is a divinely guided soul here. All right. We have five of wands and in the reverse so a lot about also reducing stress this year i like that all right because taking care of oneself i remember my deceased husband he would always say stress is the number one killer and literally he died from stress he had a very stressful job and he passed away from that so he definitely that was one thing he passed on to me and i never forgot all right so let's get into clarification here clarification why do we have the chariot in reverse cancer energy? Why is this in the reverse? Are we talking literally about a car or are we putting something on hold here? Because right next to it is the ace of pentacles and it's in the upright. And then we have two people here together, nine of cups, getting what they want. So, you know, literally if something's been on hold or there's been something about uh, moving in or getting a house or any of this stuff... Because we do have four ones in reverse. It's about a house. We have so there's something here, but it's definitely going to happen. Okay, that's for those of you when it talks about like a house, even a job, because the four ones can be a job. It has a lot to do with stability. All right, it's coming. The opportunity is coming. Whether you know, maybe not. Like it's coming in 2024. The opportunity is coming. The money is coming. The thing that you want is coming. It may not be tomorrow here in the near future, but it's coming. Know that it's coming and it's going to bring a lot of relief. It's definitely going to bring a lot of relief. Okay, tell me about the chariot. Why is it reverse? A decision here. Okay. And we, <laughs> we have the five of pentacles in reverse. And we have the page of wands here. So there's a decision. 
that you may be trying to to make here all right but it, like i said it also can be a move because the five of pentacles is you know being on the outside um and it is a building it is a church and then this can literally be moving so i just got to put that out there for anybody who is really trying to move or get a place that that is something that could definitely happen by the end of 2024 here um and like I said, it's been an overall theme where people are walking away from people who've been false wearing masks. And we do have the Seven of Swords and we have somebody walking away from another person. So, um, and, you know, and there is someone who could be returning. So that could be someone walking away and returning to another person. Just keep that in mind. And we do have the Moon card here. That might be something you're unaware of, all right? Or if you're going towards someone, they could be unaware of you coming toward them. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. And it can be a relationship. Because like I said, two people are down here together. Someone might be leaving um, just a false person. And aligning with someone who's not false. Queen of Cups. This is somebody who is very... Um, it's water energy. But sometimes I get it for Aquarians. Because, you know, she's very psychic. She nurtures herself and nurtures the world much like the star card okay and it is an ace of pentacles so i think if it's something that you knew something that you wanted or if it's love here that's coming in okay because i do have the three of swords reverse and i have the three of swords reverse here and i think that you don't know it so somebody either you want to heal something with someone or somebody wants to heal something with you here give me another card for that um I bet it's uh, someone you haven't heard from. Someone who's just been sort of stuck. And we have this devil card in reverse. Someone's been stuck in a karmic situation here. And it's it's put things on hold. All right. Or there's been there, there's been something, a lesson that had to be learned. Okay. So whatever it is, it's been put on hold. But it's not going to stay on hold. Tell me about the root. Tell me about this nine of cups beautiful image of the nine of cups here you know these two are happy everything has just been manifested there's really nothing missing in that picture there's love there's friends there's family there's beautiful scenery everything's in harmony good food you notice there's fruits on there and you notice they're having strawberries and kiwi in their drink okay it's um it's a beautiful beautiful dream right there tell me about that that's a lot I'm not doing all that for that one card. Tell me more in one card, please. Or two cards max. Page of Swords. So, okay. <laughs> Reverse. Someone's manifesting Aquarius. We have Aquarius there. I have to cover the bosom. But we have someone coming toward Aquarius. All right. Knight of Wands, literally Sagittarius. But we also have, um, with the Magician, Virgo, Gemini. Someone is manifesting, coming toward you. They're already watching you. And it has to do with this opportunity here. Okay. Tell me about this Eight of Coins in the reverse. Excuse me. In the past. The Eight of Coins in the past. Tell me about this Eight of Coins in the past. This Eight of Coins is being clarified by the Five of Cups. All right. Now here, there are two people in this Eight of Coins, which is interesting because one person is watching the other one. This person is really focused on something. Maybe someone's even focused on their happiness, but someone over here is sad. So I don't know if you're in separation with somebody and you've been really focusing on yourself, working on yourself, building yourself and your happiness here. Someone I feel is over here feeling a little bit left out. Because I do also have this Five of Pentacles here in reverse. And that is somebody who wants to come back. So if there's somebody you've had a pause, a break, a cutoff from. And it does say here, give your relationship a chance. Let go of control issues. That's somewhere here. And we have children and engagement. I do feel somebody wants to come back here. I, I do. I just can't help but see that. We have the moon. So this is, you know, let's talk about the moon because the moon, things are hidden, okay? But it's also divine feminine energy. The moon is where the sun is divine masculine. So tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon here.
Ten of Cups. It's about happiness here. You see that beautiful, you see that? Somebody sees a beautiful future with you. A Nine of Cups and a Ten of Cups. Maybe literally moving somewhere. Because I did pick up on a house and moving. Um, we have the... <laughs> We have somebody who doesn't want to be single anymore. We have the Nine of Pentacles reverse and the Three of Cups reverse. If somebody was single and dating, um, just really wasn't sure what they wanted, okay, and they really weren't focused on you, well, now you're focused on you. Somebody wants to return. They're already watching you, and they're sad. They might probably see that you're doing pretty good. Um, considering maybe they thought that, you know, life was ending for you, but it isn't. Okay. So now somebody sees you as their happiness and they want to return and they are leaving something behind here. Probably a false person. They're literally leaving a person who's been sort of wearing a mask or very false. And we have this eight of cups. It's a return of happiness. Tell me about... The near future, four of wands in the reverse. It's the near future. It's a card of stability, celebration, literally a home, a union. So tell me about it. It is in the reverse. The moon card wants to come out. This person is going to reach out, okay, to you, all right? Um, we have the seven of pentacles here. Someone might be waiting on the right time to reach out, something to come to fruition, or maybe something that has to do um, with finances even, but the Hermit Reverse. You're going to see somebody that you haven't seen. Someone's basically going to come out of the woodwork. Someone may have gone through the dark night of the soul, could literally be a Virgo, but whoever it is, it's a close connection, and maybe there's children involved because we have children there. Maybe there's, like I said, somebody who... Um, want some or you guys would just have a close connection because we have the moon twice and the moon is also about past lives and so is this this can be about past lives either way children no children it's a close connection all right we have the intuition and this is this right here I feel like it's something that you all always knew because this is this ace of cups that this here with this queen of cups I feel like there's something that you always knew would happen you felt it. Maybe you couldn't prove it. Maybe, you know, there was no facts to back it up, but you felt it. I feel that you felt something. And, you know, again, we have uh, Pisces Virgo energy here with that high priestess, but it's I feel you. Um, and this is your spiritual work. Remember, it says you're a light worker. Well, the high priestess is a light worker. And we have the hermit who is also very wise. Together, we have a spiritual emperor and empress. So I feel that the more that you come into who you are su supposed to be, some sort of light worker, or become more into it if you already have started, it's bringing together a very close connection here. Someone's about to reach out. Yes. All right. Tell me about the Three of Swords Reverse. This is wanting to heal something, heal a riff, I heard. Heal a riff. What is this Three of Swords? It's literally healing could even be healing from a surgery or any of that but i i feel it's with a person tell me about the three of swords well some can be healing from a surgery okay just because we have all these swords okay seven of swords um and then but some of you are healing with a person we have ten of pentacles all right but sometimes the ten of pentacles can be a hospital with a bunch of rooms okay it can be like a a bunch of you know rooms literally a big place so just keeping that in mind if anybody's had some sort of surgery um there's going to be healing okay and changing of things but somebody is literally wanting to heal things with the empress all right and they might be sneaking towards you they're already spying on you okay but there's a higher level commitment here there's a higher level commitment. Somebody is watching you. You don't know it. Somebody wants to heal things with you. You don't know it. Especially if you are the yin. The yin energy empress. And it's a higher level commitment. And this is where it says engagement. Okay. This would be the engagement card. The soulmate here. It 
So the environment is a king of cups. This is somebody who's in love, can literally be a Scorpio. But it's the one with the two kids and the dog and the two kids and the dog over there. So tell me about the environment, the Scorpio water energy does not have to be Scorpio. This is the person manifesting you. This is the person who wants forever with you. Or at least they want to build something. They want to hang out with you the rest of their life. Okay. <laughs> All right. They want to come in. They want to come in. So here you are, you know. This person has a lot of passion for you. This person could be even younger. This could, person could have some sort of a Virgo Gemini in their chart. But it is an environment where someone is going from being, I feel, inconsistent. Because this is a person who, they would have been inconsistent to be in this night energy. But they are rapidly heading toward the night, excuse me, king of cups. They're, they're rapidly heading toward the King of Cups. And this might have been a person who had some toxic behaviors, possibly, you know. Um, because I, I just get cards for them. You know, the third party is something that they don't want anymore. They don't want to be single anymore. All right. They don't want to have other options or be in all that drama of having multiple lives or multiple people. They were going down their way. And this can even talk about recklessness, this cherry reverse. It can be somebody here, because literally this is a person in a car and they're living a reckless life. And this just came to me. This is a person who's coming towards you, who they were inconsistent. They were living a reckless sort of lifestyle. Now they want forever with you. So it seems like there's love strongly coming out here, but it doesn't mean that. What if you have a friend or family member um, who's been having a reckless lifestyle and they want to come towards you and mend things and get back on track in life because it can also be that but either way going from inconsistency they've been manifesting being the real deal stepping up to the plate here being a father being a husband being a good son good brother whatever it is tell me about the devil card because this is this is again the king of cups Looking right at this Ten of Pentacles. This is what I want. All right. So, again, tell me about the devil card. Why is the devil and the hope and the fears here? Why is the devil and the hope and the fears? Judgment. They're awakening. Yep. And the world. So, they're realizing, again, this Ten of Cups. This is what they want. This is a happy union, a happy life. This is the person who is reckless, okay? This is the person who would have kept other options. This is the person who would have kept other people um, in some sort of, uh, um, what do you call it, um, competition or whatever, but they're awakening, all right? They're awakening. So that's, that's for the devil card. That's really whoever this toxic person is, is awakening. They're awakening to their higher self, to their purpose. The world card is here, and they're ending it. They're ending all these other toxic options. And this was a person who was very much wrapped up in sexuality and the material world. It's in the reverse, though. All right. So this is so far, it's a good reading, okay? Someone's coming towards you, and they, they really want uh, to do right by you. And they want to be with you, and they want to be family with you, okay? Tell me about the Five of Wands in reverse. Tell me about the five of ones in reverse. Oh my goodness, ace of cups. Yeah. This is to get with this right here for me. If anyone's looking for love, it's like forsaking all others to be with the one. <laughs> it also talks about if anyone's tried many times to uh, get pregnant and failed attempts, it also like one, this one will stick. This one will stick. It's just the right time now. It's the right time. Because somebody wasn't in the right energy before. Now somebody wants the family life here. Um, somebody wants to be correct. So let's close out with some advice. Those of you who are born January 28th. Let's close out with some advice for those of you who are born January 28th. Unexpected visitor. 
but I don't think that's the case for you because I kept getting the Queen of Cups, which is very psychic. All right, but it's 14 and it's in reverse. So I'll hold it in the upright. Unexpected visitor. In the reverse, you may be mistaking a rogue wave for a fun ride. You may only coast for so long before you hit the shoreline with a smack. The tide is ebbing and your activities are now preparing you for when that wonderful wave comes in for you to ride. You're meant to learn how to be a strong swimmer now. Don't worry. Preparation ensures a successful result. <laughs> However, you must wait patiently for the right moment to come. Now is the time for conscious preparation and skill building. So now it's basically saying get ready. This is the time where you get ready. How do you get ready for something like this? You meditate. You practice presence. Be in the moment. Immerse yourself as much as you can in the moment. Um, use all of your sensory perceptions in every moment to be in that moment fully. And it wouldn't hurt because it looks like you might you guys might get a place together. It wouldn't hurt to sort of do some spring cleaning, organize, get rid of stuff you don't need, stuff that's cluttered around, not you don't use it, haven't used it, donate it, whatever. Um, it's really a card saying get prepared. Get prepared physically, uh, spiritually, emotionally, whatever. Get prepared. There's some change coming. I don't think you see someone's coming back, but I think you feel it. Anyway, you guys, happy birthday to my January 28th Aquarians. I love you guys and namaste, my friends.